Hi there YouTubers and welcome back to another video. My name is Matthias, I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based here in Zurich, Switzerland. Today I want to talk to you about five mistakes that you should avoid when filming underwater. Coming up. So I've been filming underwater for quite a few years and have started to teach underwater cinematography about two years ago to my students. During those years I have come across a lot of the issues that do happen regularly with people that start filming underwater. There is a few things that you should avoid when filming underwater to make sure to get the best possible footage. Mistake number one that I see a lot of people doing when they start filming underwater is that they go too deep. Now as you know, colors and light disappears the deeper down we go. So in terms of getting proper colors, you want to try to stay as shallow as possible. Ideally you want to film somewhere between 5 and 10 meters of depth. If you go any deeper than that, your colors, your light will start to disappear and you will need to bring extra lights with you to compensate for that. Another mistake that happens very regularly with people that start off with filming underwater is that they don't go close enough to their object. Now because when we film under the surface we have water in between our lens and the object that we're filming and the more water there is in between those two things the harder it is going to be for you to get nice looking footage. So what you want to try to do is get as close as possible to whatever you're filming. Especially if you're filming with a big dome port and you have a wide angle lens on it, you really need to make that extra effort to get as close as possible to your subject. Mistake number three that happens quite often with people starting off with underwater videography is that they're relying on the automatic white balance of their camera. Now some cameras like action cameras they might not have the option to set your um, white balance manually but if you do have that option in your camera you should really take use of it. The problem with automatic white balance is that your camera doesn't know that you're underwater and that certain colors disappear quicker than others. So it's essential that you use your uh, manual white balance and you should set your white balance manually every couple meters that you go deeper down on your dive and then again as well set it as you come up shallower towards the end of your dive. But just following this one tip and setting your white balance manually your underwater footage will look a lot better right there. Mistake number four that you see on a lot of videos of people that have just started with underwater videography is that they're trying to capture something from the top. So they're trying to capture something um, being much higher than the object itself and then shooting down into the depth. And that is always a very tricky way to shoot something underwater simply because down deeper it's going to be darker, it's going to be really hard to capture the colors and to get enough light into your, um, into your footage. So it's always much much better if you change your shooting angle and you try to shoot at the level, at the same level with your object or even better slightly up to the surface. Try to avoid shooting directly into the sundown because that's going to give you some mostly unwanted flares. Um, in your footage and it's going to be really hard to expose your footage correctly if you're shooting right into the sun. But definitely try not to shoot down into the deep, rather go down to where your object is, find a nice position, find a nice angle and then shoot your object at the same level or slightly up to the surface. Straight away this is going to give you a much much nicer composition of your shot and your shot is going to look a lot more dynamic at the same time. And last but not least, mistake number five that I see quite commonly made when people shoot underwater is that they're trying to chase after animals. Now, this is never really a good idea and if you've been a diver for a certain amount of time, you know that the best experiences underwater you will get if you stay quiet in one place and you let the wildlife approach you. And the same principle applies when we film underwater. So try not to chase after stuff because if you do that, you're most likely just going to end up with tails of fishes on your um, footage. Try to stay in one place, try to move slowly and deliberately and let the animals approach you. 
This way, you're gonna end up with some much, much nicer footage and you'll actually be able to capture some interactions between the animals and yourself as well. And there you have it guys, those are the five most common mistakes that I see quite commonly made by new underwater videographers. If you want to step up your underwater videography game, try to avoid these mistakes and I guarantee you, your underwater footage will look much much better instantly by just following those five simple rules. And that's it for today, thank you very much for watching guys, I hope this video was useful to you, I hope you got something out of it. If that was the case, please do not forget to hit that like button, it really means a lot to me. And also consider subscribing to my channel for more content like that coming up in the near future. Should there be any other issues or problems that you've encountered while filming underwater and that I haven't covered in this video, please feel free to put them down in the description box and I'll be happy to answer all your questions and comments on that topic. Thanks again for watching guys, now head out there into the water and get some nice underwater footage and I will see you next Sunday.